Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. How are you? Um, if I was to choose in my life, if I would be a basic or extra, you, I already made my choice. Extra. Okay, check out our apparel. We got a lot of things. Okay. From hoodies galore to... Um, soon we're going to come up with bottom. So do check that out. And let's start here. Um, this channel is focused on selling products more than the reading. Just for people who wants to be sarcastic. Okay. Because I'm a Sag. I get you there. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Um, we're going to look into your sidereal chart, which you can get a 50% uh, discount in the Astro Nova. So do check it out now. Um, it's a whole report together with the transits that you will, uh, that is for the 2023 on your own chart. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. With a tarot, you can watch any. Ugh, can I reshuffle? It's a page, guys. You guys know. Uh, it's never a good, uh, you know, if it's a page, eh. Let me just keep shuffling first. Okay. Page of Wands is someone that you're flirting with, that you like. Okay, so there's chemistry. Okay, I guess Sagis are everywhere today because I don't do reverse also. The card just might go reverse. So you're a little bit confused right now, Sag. What happened to you? That's my question. There's a lot of opportunities coming in for you career-wise with the Seven of Cups. What I'm seeing here, Sag, is that you feel like your person is not being honest or not being true, okay? Is what I'm seeing. Your person feels that, I mean, you're suspecting of them, is what I'm feeling. Like, they're hiding something. I know it, you know, it's like, I just, I just can't say it right now. But this is about your intuition right here, okay? Now... There's a lot of things that you guys have been discussing, okay? And then some of it, like, okay, like some of it's the future. Some of it is very loving. Some of it are toxic here. Some of it are, like, about being moving in together. There's the keys. Um, there's growth here. But one thing particular I'm seeing here is that the snake over here. This is what you feel like, oh, everything is perfect. Everything is good. But there's a big bot. Mm-hmm right here and this is basically like you know let's just say it's a white shirt and you put a, a a stain and then for you it's just like well it's already stained something is not right something you're very suspicious of about what are you suspicious about Sedge? oh i don't do reversal okay emperor is here okay because the card flip okay um but for people who are uh you know very anal with tarot. It's like, why you don't do reverse? Because I'm the reader and you're not. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, that's how I'm just going to keep reversing it for you. Emperor with the seven of cups over here. Um, you're trying to prove a point to your person. Check the Capricorn reading. Um, you're trying to prove to them. Okay. You're feeling right now that I need your, I need this person to understand that I'm, I mean business. Okay. Like, I don't want to screw things up. I want them to tell me the truth. I want them to be honest with me because it feels like you are really, you know, your guards up are here. Your guards are here. All guards up, you know. You're very protective of what you have worked hard for as an emperor. Mm. Why is this the same? I shuffled. Okay. Queen of Pentacles um, with an emperor. Mm-hmm. You're doubting them, you're looking at them, and I feel like they're not responding to you. I feel like you got the cold shoulder, the confrontation was there, and then they just started to ignore you. Oh, there it is. Yep, ignoring you. you have the Four of Swords. So your person all of a sudden just dismisses the situation. Okay. Um, with the Four of Swords and the Queen of Coins... It feels like all of a sudden you guys just don't talk anymore. Like this is like being upset right here. You're taking your pain now, Three of Swords. You're not letting your guard down still because there's a sword there. So you feel like, okay, I know they're hiding something. I know they're lying to me. Um, you know, the emperor can be, you know, like them also like, I'm busy. I have work. You know, this is always their excuse. I have something I'm going, I'm doing. 
and there's always a story with them. So with you with the Queen of Coins and the Four of Swords over here, you're always just trying to think it's like, hmm, it doesn't make sense. They're so confusing. One minute they're telling me this, and then the next time they're telling me that. So it's on and off with your person. It is on and off. Okay. Not that they're on and off with you, with their reasoning, their stories, and, you know, it's like, with whatever that they want to tell you. Now the sun is here. Uh, so from what I'm seeing here with the sun, it's more about, like, you want to enlighten the situation. You want to put the focus on the relationship. You want to focus on the cups right here. You want your person to be honest. You want your person to explain the truth. So you're putting them in the spotlight, basically. You know, we call it, like, the hot seat. Okay. Because you can't sleep here with the Four of Swords. Mm -hmm. it, it affects you. It, it's it's starting to become an issue with the Sun card. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, with the Justice over here, Sag, this is about truth. This is about justice. This is about... Not, remember, there's a sword, right? And then the scale. This is what you're giving. <coughs> excuse me. And then taking back in the relationship. So Justice with the Sun... Um, Settling the situation, understanding that, okay, if we can work this, we can work it. But if it's not, then we should just end it. Justice is about, you know, just looking at it in an equal way. So for you, you're still giving them that benefit of like, tell me the truth. Be honest with me. You know, because this is divorce and separation. Now, three of swords is over here, which only means that this is, you know, third party. Right? And you, let's just say you are the home, uh, the homemaker or like, you're, you know, you're a stay at home. So you're always like wondering what are they doing, you know, if you're married, okay? Because normally this is already settled, they're married. Seven of coins, okay. So you can't put a period because you're waiting. You know, they're making you wait. Seven of cups and seven of coins. Now seven is the number of K2. And where's K2 right now? I believe four is Rahu. Mm -hmm. For you, Sag, it's in the 11th house. Okay, and Libra, which is Libra here. Okay. So, excuse me. The nodes right now are in the natural seventh house, which is Libra, which is partnership. Let's add some spice here. Let's dive deeper with the seven of coins because you are waiting right now for their response after you have cleared out because you gather the courage here. It can be done with the Leo or Libra or Aries, Capricorn also. Um, you've, uh, you have gathered the courage already. And then I was like, I know, I just want to wait for the response. Oh, well, they're not responding because they're blocking seven of wands. They're restricting very guarded defense, nine of wands. Ooh, seven of swords. So this is when what you call right, uh, women's intuition, right? Women's intuition are very strong. They know when there's a sale going on. That's how strong it is. I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> like, they know when there is a 50 off or they know when Chanel is going to be hiring their price. Women's intuition. No, I'm kidding. Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. So then it's clearly true. You know that they haven't been honest. And Four of Swords to the Four of Wands, there is this relationship, right? There is this partnership. This is your concern. We're married. We're in a committed relationship. What are you hiding? What are you not telling me? Two of Swords, because you can't make a decision right now because they hold back. And waiting. Why they make you wait? Why they block the situation right now? Okay, so there's a lot of waiting there. We're not done. Okay, so everything is in the description box below. Now for the Sagis, of course, there's going to be a lot of waiting, especially if you're a moon in Sag. Okay, like hold your horses, basically. Now, your major concern here is this, because the Two of Swords, and then there's Three Swords here in the Four of Swords. So once this doesn't go well, meaning you find out everything that they're trying to hide from you, which we'll do, we'll, we'll drive those cards to what they've been hiding, you know, Seven of Wands, then you can make your decision. So let's see what, oh, we got the Death card. See, then you'll make that decision. Death card is transformation and changes, but it's also an ending. There's no end to the relationship yet because you don't know what they're hiding. But with the death card natural eighth house, it's also secrets, which means that they kept so much secrets from you. They didn't tell you everything, okay? Your person is very restrictive on this. Okay. 
All right. Let's see here. Okay. So this three right here, let's go down to the business where what have they been hiding? Is this relationship even worth keeping? Um, why did they slow down? Why they haven't made a decision? And like it feels like they're very much restrictive and protective. All these cards are really just like avoiding you or the conversation or hiding. And there's deep secrets with the death card right there. Okay, we'll go down to the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. Oh, eight of coins. Okay, eight of coins about focus, diligence. Okay, and doing the doing the work. That's why it's so focused here. It's just working, working, working. Seven of cups. It feels like you're not gonna let go of this one. Meaning, the subject of like, what have you been hiding? They're in the spotlight. They're in the zone. I got you. I have my eyes on you. I just need to sort this out. Meaning, I will figure it out. And once I figure it out, then two of swords, I'll make a decision. It's fine because seven of cups is here, seven of cups. So there's a lot of illusion in this situation that your emperor is giving to you. And with the eight of coins right now, it's only a matter of time because you're adding things, you know, like you're slowly putting things together and you'll find out soon. Oh, we'll get an extra for the Sag. Okay, let's see. Six of Wands, the Judgment. Oh, this is about pushing it to the limit now with the Judgment. You will have a serious conversation with your person. This is now being cornered. So they will have no choice and no option anymore because the Judgment is like, listen, we got to talk. What are you hiding from me? Seven of Cups. Then I'll get that. Let's see what are they hiding from you. Because this is confrontation. Judgment is like we're clearing house over here. Ooh, Hermit. They're definitely hiding. Okay, so let's see. What are they hiding from you? That you just can't stop thinking. Something about, I don't know what you saw. I don't know what you experienced. I don't know if their car, or their phone. I don't know, like they didn't call you. They didn't text you. Something that just, if you feel it. Because the Queen of Pentacles in the Seven of Swords, something. I don't know, a perfume. You know, like there are subtle things. But that little tiny thing, you know, it starts with a little hair. Because you're not blonde. <laughs> you're a brunette. And and they just came from a hiking trail, right? Okay, so how is that? And I was like, it doesn't, you understand me. So Hermit, they're going to keep hiding it, but we're here. We're going to try to figure it out and get to the bottom of this. Okay, because they already asked a question. Thank you very much, Sagis, for watching. Link down there in the description box below for extended reading. I'll see you guys again. And check out, of course, our amazing collection um, for apparel. I'll see you guys. Bye.